Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be... Oh, sorry, hold on one second. Hey honey, I can't come up right now. I have to make this quick video and I'll be right with you, okay? Love you. Bye. So just like that, I was able to go ahead and send a message to my wife by using my Apple Watch. Now that was actually a video message, so I didn't even have to even look at my phone. How cool is that? This here is Wristcam that literally brings your Apple Watch to the next level, featuring two cameras for the front and for selfie mode, so you can go ahead and take a picture on the go. Now, the way it works is quite interesting. It connects directly to your Apple Watch, so you don't really have to carry your phone at all if you really don't want to. Now, in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and seeing exactly what it's all about. So if you guys wanted your own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so check it out. So this here is the packaging and this here is the wrist cam. Now overall, the box itself looks really cool, kind of showcases it here on the front. Now obviously you want to get the one correct for your size, so we got the 42 slash 44 millimeter for my particular Apple Watch. And then as you kind of rotate it about, it says see it, snap it, share it, never miss another moment with two cameras. So you have one that's pointing upwards and then one pointing forward. And then you can go ahead and snap by simply hitting a single tap or you can go ahead and long press it for a video and then you can go ahead and share it based off of your customized capture. Now, they come in a variety of different colors. So the one that we got is actually the Nor, which is the black version, which will kind of showcase our particular watch that I have right here. As you can see, it says made for the Apple Watch. And yeah, let's open this thing up and see what's on the inside. All right, so this is interesting. So this is like a tin can that it came in. Uh, I got the nice baby blue or indigo. Uh, and so we'll go ahead and open it up like this. That is so cool. So it showcases uh, how it looks with a fake Apple Watch here. Uh, it says wrist cam. So this here is gonna be our user guide. So this will kind of give us step-by-step -step directions. Talk about quick setup how to go ahead and attach your band, download the app. So let's go ahead and see what it includes. All right, so we get ourselves a charging cable. So this here is a unique cable. So this is actually very interesting. So it's got like these three pongs with a magnetic strip. Comes with a wall charger for two USB-B ports. So that's kind of nice. So you can go ahead and charge it like that. And then you can go and charge something else, AKA your watch at the same time. And then lastly, we have our interesting looking wrist cam. has a high quality grade feel so it has a rubber texture very similar to like the Apple workout watches your two cameras you have one here on the top and one here on the front and then you have a button here you have your charger port for your particular wrist cam by simply taking this and it'll magnetically attach just like that let's go ahead and attach this to our watch next and see what it can do all right so here we are surprisingly light a lot lighter than I thought. Uh, it is a little bulky, but it's not bad. Just because it does have the ca camera on there, you have to understand that it needs some space. So you do have the high def camera, which you can simply just go ahead and take a picture like this. So let's go ahead and download the app next, connect to this and try it out. This here is our app. Now it kind of gives you a little bit more terms of details about all the things that it can do. So you do have your shortcuts for Siri, uh, you have your watch app, and then I'll kind of show you how to go ahead and like change the band, uh, import your photos, and a variety of other things which are nicely detailed videos. So I do highly recommend watching them if you do decide to buy this. Now, as we kind of move about, we do have our settings. We'll kind of give us a little bit more terms of breakdown of terms of the details go. So you do have your battery life, your storage life, uh, your Wi-Fi mode, and then a wrist cam video chat. So you can go ahead and create an account so you can go ahead and just talk to people simply by using your watch. So you don't even have to use your phone. Uh, you can go ahead and create voice uh, video messages by simply 
opening up the app here and then talking through it, which we'll be doing in just a little bit. Now you also have your import mode. So when you do connect to Wi-Fi, it'll automatically import your photos and whatever you want to do in terms of that sense. And then you can go ahead and adjust it in terms of like the face gallery. So you can go ahead and even add a simple click of a button here on the face gallery. Uh, you can take a photo. So they do give you that feature, which is really nice. Now, other than that, you do have your gallery mode here. So you can go ahead and access that by simply clicking this button here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So to give you an idea of how the video quality is. Now, if I go ahead and open up the app here and just click this button here on the front, it'll go ahead and start recording. Uh, and I can go ahead and move it around and I can go ahead and change the uh, aspect ratio. So under settings, we can click on video. You can do 1080p or 720. And then the aspect ratio, you have one by one, four by three, 16 by nine. Uh, and you can go ahead and adjust it based on which camera you're using. And from there, I can go ahead and click on gallery and automatically see a preview of the video right there. Now, keep in mind that the preview is a bit degraded. If you want to see the full high def version of the video, all you gotta do is hit the download button on the top. And then you have your Siri shortcuts. So these here are things that you can go ahead and add. So you can be like, hey Siri, take a photo. And it just took a photo. Or hey Siri, start recording. <laughs> so right now it's recording uh, right there with this camera. So you can see the quality of the video. All right, and moving on here, if I go back into the settings, I can go ahead and switch it to a selfie mode. There we are, and hit record. All right, so right now we are recording using the selfie mode. Uh, and to kind of give you an idea exactly what I'm looking at, I'm gonna do a quick little screenshot on my watch. And that is exactly the quality of the clip while it's recording. Now, keep in mind it is degraded, but the final version of it is very nice. Now you do have the light here on the front kind of indicating that it is recording, just so you know. Uh, hit stop, and there we are. Now I can go ahead and open it up here and see the high def quality of the video. And you can see that the quality of it is significantly better. Now if I go ahead and open up the app here and click on my contact, and I'll go ahead and start recording. Hey guys, this is Conflicts. Ah! And this will go ahead and record my message and it'll upload it. And I'll go ahead and send it directly to my contact. Something cool is the fact that you can actually even use this underwater. I mean, you can see this clip right over here that was given to us that this particular camera can go ahead and handle underwater and you can get good, great quality footage out of it as well. And yeah, that is pretty much the gif of what it is. It is overall a very cool concept. Definitely gives it a future leg in terms of what the future holds for watches go. Um, and I'm really excited to see what they come up with next. Now, other than that, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.